Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. And if you're new to my YouTube channel, hi, my name is Chesa. I'm a Zambian YouTuber who makes YouTube content. And if you're not new to my channel, welcome back. So before we go anywhere, I have like two things to say. First of all, I would like to say thank you for the 140 subscribers. It's probably now like 141, 142, some of them. Yeah. Um, we're roughly 60 subscribers away from like 200 subscribers so thank you so much for subscribing to my channel honestly guys it means a lot thank you for all those people who recently subscribed to my channel and thank you for those people who've been there before you know since day one my diehard and then number two um this was this is not 19th july and this video wasn't going to drop on 19th july it dropped somewhere later during the week so on i'd like to give a shout out to one of my subscribers on 19th july it was his birthday happy birthday kelvin happy belated birthday anyways yeah so this video now we get to the video this video is an advice video things i've learned and i'm going to be giving you guys advice on things that i've learned on three topics so this is what this video is going to be about i hope you enjoy this video make sure you like you comment down below you share and you subscribe if you already haven't subscribed bye. 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 okay guys so the first the first thing that i'm going to be advising you guys on is giving up um so the first thing that i'm going to be talking about is giving up personally i'm not going to lie to you when a situation gets hard or when the conditions aren't suitable to me i'm going to give up because i don't like i don't like to be pressured i don't like being pressured yeah so when things get hard i really run guys i'm a prox star but yeah it's not a good thing and i can give an example of something that i usually give up on i'm going to talk about youtube guys youtube is hard youtube is really hard being consistent and posting something that your subscribers are going to like like i decided to be posting every week as often as i can but i also want to give you guys something that you're going to enjoy like this is this is the third time i've shot this video this week yeah and another thing that happened on youtube is um when I was stuck on a certain number of subscribers i was stuck on 60 something subscribers for a lot of weeks and you know the problem with me is that when i started youtube i wanted the success there and then you know i wanted one of my videos to get one point shiny k views i wanted i wanted some big youtuber to discover my channel and said i was their favorite youtuber already like i was just thinking of the now i just wanted things to happen now because i wasn't really looking into the future for what i wanted you know i was thinking about now and i think that's the main element when you're giving up the problem with people giving up is that they're thinking about what's happening right now if you failed you're thinking about how you felt right now if you're not getting what you want you're thinking about what you want like right now and then you give up because you think you're not going to get better but the truth is things do get better despite the situation that you're in you just have to keep on pushing and you have to envision you have to have a vision for what you want so for youtube i realized that i'm not going to delete my channel and i'm going to keep posting because i looked to the future and i realized what i actually wanted to achieve where i want to be at a certain point in time yeah yeah and then if you're in university or you're in school if you feel like you're failing in school just think about where you want to be we're in school because we want to get into a good university either inside or outside this country and you won't get into those universities without good results so you just have to keep pushing make sure you think about the future and if you're in university think about how you want to give back to your parents after everything they've done for you and you want to give yourself the life that you never had or maybe you want to give your children a good life or the life that you never had yeah so just make sure you think about the future and make sure you have a driving force too like 
I realized that something, you know these things that encourage us like memes or videos or someone's motivational talk, those things are good. They're like little elements to keep us pushing, but they're only little elements, guys. You need to find something that's going to constantly push you each time. Like you need to focus on something in the long run. So that's like a driving force, but it's in relation to what I just said. So maybe you're in school, your driving force is your parents. Maybe you're in university, your driving force is your future kids. Maybe YouTube, you want to expand your brand and you want to just reach somewhere. You have to have a driving force. Focus on something that's going to push you every time. Because these things that we look at are only going to motivate us for like 10 seconds, 10 minutes, an hour. They're just little elements to keep us pushing. But you're the only one who's going to keep pushing yourself. So you have to make sure that you don't give up. Yeah. Oh, and when I give up, I only give up momentarily. I don't I don't give up. Which is not really giving up in a way. But then I let it get me down for a period of time. But then after some time I realize that I really have to do something about it. I can't give up. I'm not encouraging you to give up, but if you do give up, make sure you give up momentarily, guys. Just make sure you go for what you want. So if you're planning on starting a business, starting a YouTube channel, getting serious with your schoolwork, whether high school or university, do it. Get serious now. The thing about doing something is that you're going to start. And once you start, you're not going to stop. Just keep it in motion. Like maybe you're feeling lazy to make your bed, right? Just say, let me just remove the blankets for now. But then once you start removing the blankets so that you can make your bed, you're going to keep going. So make sure you're always in motion, guys. Yeah. I hope you don't give up on your dreams. Yeah. Um number two on what I'm going to be advising you guys on is confidence. Confidence is such a sensitive topic that we've all gone through. Like it's such a sensitive topic and we've gone through it at one point in our lives, like not having confidence, yeah. I'm going to talk about um my experience um so i'm short i've been short most of my life shorter than the average child like where a child is supposed to be i'm shorter than that yeah i'm not very very short but i'm short and then you know a lot of people since i was a child were would always pass comments about my height and it never used to affect me that much you know sometimes i wish i was taller but it never used to really get to me because i hadn't developed like mentally so i think it was just god who made me like i don't know get through it be okay with my height because i don't remember actually trying to get through me being short but it was something that was really guys you know when people if i had a 10 quarter for every time somebody told me i was short I would be rich. I'd be rich. I'd be rolling with Bill Gates. Guys, it's not... Uh, anyways, yeah. Then another thing about me is I am chubby. Okay, so when I was going to boarding school in grade 8, I was really chubby, right? Yeah, I'm short and chubby. I was really, really, really chubby. And then people used to call me... Some people, not a lot of people know this, but some people used to call me certain names simply because of the way my body was because i was chubby but then i just used to brush it off like eh, you know because i hadn't developed mentally and i wasn't thinking about it but then i think i started to become self-conscious like after grade 12 when i came back home since boarding school i lost a lot of weight um after i finished school i started to gain back weight i started to grow i don't know if that makes sense but anyways i started to grow and i started to gain weight and a lot of people would comment on it and now that i had developed mentally physically emotionally i was constantly thinking about it and i let it get to me i would cry i wouldn't take photos i'd be conscious of what i wear yeah and that can really bring down someone actually that can that can actually cause that can actually cause depression Yeah, so I'm going to be telling you guys how I deal with my confidence issues. Yeah, so firstly, you have to accept yourself. You have to realize that you are you and you're not going to change. And the situation isn't going to change unless you accept yourself first. God has never made... Okay, when I'm giving advice, I always refer to God. God has never made 
anybody ugly we were actually made in his image so we're pretty beautiful you just have to see it so just make sure you accept yourself and then you have to realize that if we had a group of people who exercise the same ate the same woke up the same time slept the same time just do everything the same we would still have people with different body sizes and shapes like we still have chubby people slender people slim people tall people short people because that's the way you are we're meant to be different so you have to accept that fact too then i think the thing that helps people who are you know you see those people and their confidence and the way they dress and you just want to also acquire that i think you have to discover your body shape i don't know about guys but i know about girls you have to discover your body shape and your body size like they're different shapes mostly what i do like when i heard about this i went on pinterest pinterest and i searched for how to determine your body shape so when i went on pinterest they'll ask you depending on where you go to where i went to they asked me to measure my shoulders my bust my waist and my hips so you can find different body shapes like a pear an hourglass a rectangle a triangle an apple yeah and then when you determine your body shape you should search for maybe how people who are pears dress or how people who are apples dress you know like for example if you're a pair or if you're an hourglass you can't wear low cut jeans right you always have to wear high-waisted jeans because that's when oh high-waisted skirts just high-waisted things because that's when your curves will be outlined yeah it's only people who are like rectangles who can like wear low cut jeans because then their body shape would be like outlined because that's them yeah so you have to dress according to your body shape for you to feel good you know if you're dressing if you look nice and you dress according to your body shape like you you know people will see it you see it you realize because i think a mistake that i made was when i go on pinterest i i would look for outfits and then i find some really cute outfits but then all of them were for slender people so then when I go to a shop and I buy clothes and I come back and I wear, maybe they'll be too tight and they just don't exactly, you know, what do you call it? So just according to your position, that will really help you and I think it's something that has helped me. Confidence. Confidence is a skill that people acquire and it's not something that people naturally just have like the people who have confidence didn't always have it it's something that they had to develop so just understand that confidence is something that's going to take a lot of time but you have to put in effort you know like there was this guy he was slender i don't know if he was short or if he was tall but then he was dating the prettiest girl in school and then the jocks the football players the baseball players were asking themselves like why aren't i dating her i do sports i what i what so he decided to ask him like how did you manage to date her and he was like i guess it's because of my confidence and the way i carry myself because i'm stuck in my body i'm going to be stuck in my body for the rest of my life and i can't be sad about it because i'm not going to make any progress i have to accept who i am and i have to move forward and when i thought about it it really made a lot of sense when you when you look at people you're not going to be attracted to or you won't be you won't be able to attract people if you're not confident some people it's not even how gorgeous or beautiful or handsome they are it's about the way they carry out themselves how they work how they talk they know that they are very so you just have to realize that you are too and i think it's something that you should also pray about these things i i don't know about you but i'm christian and i love to talk to god about a lot of things so i just advise you to talk to god about these things talk to god put in the measures that i told you to put in and slowly but surely you have that confidence and you learn to feel comfortable in your body. number three on what i'm going to be advising you guys on is uh, making mistakes i'm one person who makes mistakes a lot i bet we all do because we're human but then 
I let my mistakes define me. I like to think about it over and over and over again. And I just, I think about the things that I could have done better. Because when I make a mistake in school, or when I make a mistake, like when I offend someone, or when I offend God, for example, I think about the events that occurred before I made that mistake. And I think about the things that I could have done better. But then you have to realize, if you're like me, I don't know how many people go through this but if you're like me nobody ever nobody ever became better from dwelling on their mistakes from thinking about what you did and what you could have done better you have to move forward you can't let your mistakes define you you can't let it shape your future so when you make a mistake like in school you have to make sure you put in more effort so that you don't make that mistake again when you make a mistake like when you offend somebody you have to apologize and you have to find a way not to make that mistake again and not to hurt the people that you hurt and did i mention apologize you have to apologize make sure you're sorry yourself and when you're giving an apology don't say i'm sorry but i'm sorry it's only because that's not an apology okay when you hurt someone you don't get to decide that you didn't you might have not had the intention of hurting the person but then the fact is that you did hurt the person and you don't have the decision that you didn't hurt them you get yeah so you just have to apologize and make sure you become a better person and just not hurt the person again and then when you offend god you have to realize that god is a very loving and forgiving god you can't say sorry knowing that you're going to make the same mistake again you have to make sure that you don't make that mistake again you have to make sure you put in some measures you have to yeah, implement some measures and you have to make sure that you pray yeah but another thing on the part for offending people just because you make mistakes just because you offend someone doesn't mean you should settle for this if you've wronged your friend and you've said sorry and you realize your mistake and you're trying to be better it doesn't mean that if your friend is treating you like trash that you should stay there you don't deserve that treatment because everybody makes mistakes so don't let them call you if you're my subscriber and you're watching this and somebody is treating you like trash simply because you made a mistake don't let them treat you like that because they've made a mistake too everybody makes mistakes they are sorry for your mistakes don't let them treat you like trash you should never in friendships in relationships in anything you should never settle for less simply because you made a mistake don't do that don't yeah so i think those are all the three things that i can advise you guys on the three things that i've learned and i really hope you enjoyed this video rather than enjoying this video i really hope it's helped someone even if it's just a person or two people i'll be really happy because this is something that i honestly wish i knew when i was making these mistakes but i guess we have to learn from them in order to like help people not make the same mistakes learn from people's mistakes and learn from my mistakes too yeah that's the end of my video i really hope you enjoyed it though make sure you like the video leave a thumbs up make sure you comment down below and make sure you share to other people so i can reach 200 subscribers and subscribe if you haven't already subscribed thank you so much for watching this video and i will see you in my next video